Hi everyone, this is Karen Peters with RenovatedFaith.com and today we are talking paint colors. Specifically, my favorite light grade called Agreeable Gray. And you'll notice I have this color in my living room, in our dining room, in our kitchen, and the breakfast area. So I wouldn't say this is the most impartial review, but I will say I've lived with this color and love it. I love the fact that it is so balanced. It has the, uh, the pretty farmhouse look of the gray, but it also has a lot of warmth. It's really, it's hard to tell here, but its undertones are really balanced. So uh, it balances cool and warm really well so that it goes with all kinds of color schemes. Um, one of the things that you wanna take into consideration uh, when picking a paint color is the light reflective value, the LRV. The LRV for agreeable gray is 60. And light reflect reflective value is simply how much uh, light the paint color reflects. So in other words, the light, the LRV of 100, that is pure white. The LRV of zero is black. So 60, it's a little higher than the midpoint. Um, one thing, it, the LRV is really helpful because when you're looking at 12, 15 different paint samples, it's nice to have some value to help guide you to know, okay, this one's darker than this one. That's gonna make my room too dark. Okay, I'm going to not worry about these. So it is helpful as a guide. Like I said, the LRV of Agreeable Gray is 60, which makes it light. Um, but one trend I'm seeing lately is uh, beige whites and those are great but the problem with those is that they can easily wash out your room. If your white wall color gets to the point where it's almost the color of your white trim that's too light. If you can't see a difference there that's going to make your room look washed out and some of those beautiful white walls you see like on Instagram those are really light grages in a lot of cases and they've just been, they have a filter on them or the contrast has been bumped up. So be careful about the light, uh, the white beiges or the really light grages because they will wash out your room real fast. The reason I love it is it's so versatile. In the last few years, you've seen those cool grays really trending, but the problem with those, I think, is that they lose some of the warmth. They um, can look a little bit stale, and gray, this agreeable gray, it's still in the gray family, but it balances a lot of those beige undertones so that it goes with almost any color scheme in your home. I think 2020 had a big effect on home decor as people having to stay in their homes more um, were more concerned with being cozy and comfortable than the latest trends. And with that came warmer wall colors um, that give you more a feeling of warmth. And so I think that's why Agreeable Grade is going to be trending for a while. It's here to stick around because it offers the grays that um, of farmhouse decor and also coastal or traditional decor, whatever works for you. But also it gives you a certain warmth that a lot of the more, the bluer, cooler grays don't have. So um, as far as undertones, I haven't seen a lot of undertones come through. Um, for one thing, it's really well balanced, but the one time I did put a light bulb in that was, it was an LED and it was really, really cool. I did see a, just a little bit of purple undertones. That was just a one-time occurrence. Um, other than that, I haven't seen uh, it pull any other colors. Um, I've heard some people say that it can pull green. Um, I'm reluctant to even say that because I've not seen uh, really any saginess um, with this color, but it does look really what good with house plants if you like plants. Um, another consideration is accessible beige and it is Agreeable Gray's beige counterpart part. Um, it's it's a cousin that is just one step over in the beige category. So if you want something a little warmer, you can try Accessible Gray, uh, sorry, Accessible Beige in uh, instead of Agreeable Gray. Now, 
In the last few years, another really popular option has been Revere Pewter. Um, it has uh, gone up in popularity and I think it's going down a little bit in popularity because again, people are wanting the lighter colors. This can get a little bit dark. It's kind of a muddy, earthy grade. And so more people are opting for the lightness that agreeable gray offers. Now, another good option is, I don't know if you can see this, Repose Gray. Repose Gray is the same depth of color. I think their, their, uh, their light reflective values are very, very close, um, but it is slightly grayer. So if you wanna to step towards the grays, you might try Repose Gray. Um, so it has lots of great options. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is what color of trim to use with agreeable gray. I wouldn't use just a really, really uh, creamy white. Uh, I think alabaster is probably as creamy as I would go, and that's the color I'm going to be painting my kitchen cabinets. Um, and then if you want a cooler white to make it really pop against agreeable gray, I would go with uh, extra white, but I really like the way pure white, which is this china cabinet is pure white, how it pops against agreeable gray. And it's just a good go-to white. So uh, there's several colors that go with agreeable gray. If you need a sagey green that's not too deep, sea salt is a good option. Uh, you can also try, um, if you need a much darker color, a new gray is good, but uh, as far as a coordinating color, it's the next step darker on the color strip. Don't go there, go another step because you want it to be obvious that you're trying to coordinate colors. You want it to look deliberate. So the next step after a new gray is um, mega grade. And so that's a good contrasting, coordinating color if you wanna do say a darker accent wall. Uh, I've seen agreeable grade in my home, my mother-in-law's home, my friend's home. And, you know, homes can vary. There's no surefire way to know how a paint color is going to look uh, on your wall, even if you've seen it in someone else's. But Agreeable Gray has looked great in so many different homes. It's just a really easy color to work with. There's some areas of life that you like surprises. Paint colors, isn't that is not one area. You want a lot of predictability when it comes to paint colors, especially when you're putting it on multiple walls in your home. So when you get samples, whether they're the samples, the square ones like this, or the little paint cans that you can get at Lowe's, they're like under $5 and you paint them on, um, what you want to do is get a piece of poster board and then put uh, either paint on the sample or put this sample on the poster board and then attach that to your wall with like command strips or however that won't damage the finish. I guess it doesn't matter since you're gonna paint it anyway. But um, you want to have that white piece of poster board in between your paint sample and your wall because what happens if you don't do that? Um, your old color is going to influence the way your eye and your brain sees that new color on the wall. For example, um, agreeable gray. If I were to put this up against a yellowy beige, agreeable gray is gonna look really gray. And so you wanna put that white poster board because it gives your eye um, a border to compare. I don't know how to better explain it, but it'll make a big difference and it'll be easier picking out a paint color. So you can get these samples. And like I said, um, I'm not sure if the Sherwin-Williams stores sell the samples of paint, but you can go to Lowe's, which has their own uh, version of Sherwin-Williams paint, and you can get their little containers uh, for a color match. Um, they ha That's good paint. I wanna say that the Sherwin-Williams paint in the stores is of, of higher quality, um, but it just depends on what you can afford. Um, I love Sherwin-Williams paints, and I also really like Bear Marquis. So no matter what color you pick, make sure you pick a good paint. I'm saying that because I've learned it the hard way. Um, in our old house, I painted our kitchen cabinets and I'm about to do the same in a few weeks in this house, but I painted the kitchen cabinets. We were poor. I bought really cheap paint. It was like painting 
with skim milk. That's how well it covered. I did 10 coats, I kid you not, 10 coats on those cabinets. And it was a small house, but it was a big kitchen. Those were a lot of cabinets. So you will save money in the long run buying a better quality paint. Um, don't get a cheap paint uh, just at the start of your project. You're gonna, you're, you're going to eat up your budget in buying multiple cans of paint. So, um, I would love for you to check out the blog post where I have lots and lots of pictures of real life homes of people that are living with agreeable gray. And so you can see bathrooms, living rooms, cabinetry. I never would have guessed it, but agreeable gray is gorgeous on cabinets. I, I never would have thought, but um, there's some bathroom cabinetry that you've got to see. Um, so be sure to check out the blog post at renovatedfaith.com. And you can also download a free printable of how to prep your walls for painting to get the best results possible. Thanks. And again, check out the blog post at renovatedfaith.com.